J.D. Vance's words resonate deeply, echoing a profound commitment to authenticity, personal responsibility, and independent leadership. His message that Donald Trump embodies these principles and champions the prosperity of American farmers strikes a chord with those who believe in limited government and economic freedom. Trust is built when a leader, unyielding to outside pressures, is seen as directly representing the people's interests. Well, I think what President Trump said is that Project 2025 does not represent the agenda of the Trump campaign, and it doesn't. Donald Trump represents the agenda of the Trump campaign. He's a very smart guy. He already had a lot of good public policies. He speaks for himself. And I think what's made the president so mad about the conversation around Project 2025 is anybody saying that an outside group, my understanding is it's a bunch of white papers. It's almost a thousand pages long. No one speaks. For Donald Trump, not a thousand pages of white papers, not a conservative nonprofit, not anybody except for the Trump campaign and Donald Trump. Sir? Yeah, uh, Matt, leader of the Army, Senate Bill Fair. Uh, kind of speaking more, a little bit more on Project 2025, uh, Wisconsin Democrats worry that Project 2025 will have ne negative impacts in rural communities like here in Eau Claire, uh, with them stating that uh, the Project 2025 has plans to cut federal loan programs for small farmers. How do you combat this claim? Well, look, I, I combat the claim by repeating what I just said, which is that Project 2025 is not Donald Trump's agenda. Donald Trump's agenda is his agenda, and he speaks for himself. And the Trump agenda from 2017 to 2021 was awfully good for farmers in Wisconsin and everywhere else. This was a guy who fought for Wisconsin farmers to have access to global markets. This is a guy who was willing to fight back against some of the trade practices of other countries that were bad for Wisconsin farmers. This is a guy, Donald Trump, who supported an American energy policy that made it possible for farmers to get the fuel and the fertilizer they needed. His agenda was great for American farmers. And again, he speaks for himself. We're going to do the same thing when we get reelected. We're going to make American farmers wealthy and prosperous again. And we're going to do it by Donald Trump doing exactly what Donald Trump wants to do. Not any organization that pretends to speak for him, but doesn't. Vance's focus on making American farmers wealthy and prosperous again underscores core values like economic freedom, self-reliance, and minimal government intervention. Strengthening individuals and businesses, such as farmers, by cutting through bureaucratic red tape and enabling them to thrive in global markets is crucial. Vance's assertion that Trump's agenda prioritizes American farmers reflects a conservative belief in protecting national industries and aligning policies with the economic welfare of citizens. Rejecting Project 2025 as an outside influence on Trump's policies appeals to those who value strong, independent leadership, unswayed by think tanks or external organizations. To many, Trump's ability to speak for himself embodies the essence of a determined, independent leader, a quality that resonates with the public. Vance's statement emphasizes the importance of living authentically, staying true to one's values, and resisting external pressures or ideologies. In this light, Vance's message that Donald Trump speaks for himself, represents genuine leadership, faithful to one's principles, unshaken by outside forces. The vision of making American farmers prosperous through their own efforts and resilience, rather than government aid, is a testament to the belief in personal responsibility and the power of self-determination. By framing Trump's policies as a path for farmers to succeed through their hard work, Vance champions the right to self-determination and rejects the notion of victimhood. Vance's remarks are seen as a reassuring commitment to representing and protecting the interests of key demographic groups, particularly farmers. By distancing Trump from Project 2025, Vance positions him as a leader who listens to and prioritizes the needs of the American people, especially those in rural areas free from the influence of special interests or think tanks. This approach is designed to build trust, emphasizing that Trump's policies stem from his own experiences and values rather than external pressures. It's a powerful message that resonates emotionally, particularly with those who feel disconnected from the Washington elite or are skeptical of their intentions. Trump supporters and the general public are likely to embrace this reaffirmation of Trump's dedication to the interests of rural communities. Rejecting Project 2025 may be seen as unnecessary, as Trump is perceived as a pragmatic, experience-driven leader making decisions grounded in reality.